This is the reason you've been alone since they left. This is the reason you have been alone since they left. Hallelujah, glory to God. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a prophetic word for someone. This is the reason you have been alone since they left. This word is coming to someone. You had a heartbreak. Someone disappointed you or betrayed you or left you. And since then, you've not had another relationship. And God says, this is the reason. The thing is, the first thing is you have not healed from that. This is a direct word. This is not a word for everyone that lost someone or that was left by someone. The person that this word is for, you are going to get the spirit of God, give you that confirmation. Bear witness with your spirit that this word is for you. The first thing is that you've not healed. You've not truly let go of what happened. When one door closes, another door opens. The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah, says, Do not dwell on the things of old, nor focus on the past things. It says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Don't you see it? It springs forth now. I'm making a way in the wilderness and rivers to flow in the desert. Every time a door closes, another door opens. But like it is said, most often we spend so much time looking at the closed door that we don't even see or realize that another door was opened. And that is exactly what you have been going through. Looking back at the days you spent together, looking back at everything. So you've not let go. And if your hands are full, you are not ready to receive something else. If your hands are full, you can't handle any other thing. So it's not like God doesn't want to give you another person. But God, you've got to release your hands for you to be able to handle another present from God. You've got to release and heal so that you can be able to handle another relationship without bleeding on someone when they are not the ones who hurt you, without bleeding on an innocent person. God says, another door is opening, but you've got to stop looking behind and look at what God is doing. God bless you. Shalom.